This is a 1993 Mitsubishi Bravo K-Van. So I got my van about four or five months ago and I've been daily driving it every day and I don't really see a lot of these videos like that on the internet. And I feel like K-Vans, K-Trucks and just K-Cars in general are getting very popular. And there isn't a lot of videos from an owner's perspective of the Bravo or really just a Mitsubishi Bravo in general. And I want this to be just like a detailed overview. I'm not gonna do any cool transitions or anything like that, but I wanna go over every single function. So like if someone who's really looking to buy a Bravo, this is literally the video that you wanna watch. I'm gonna go into deep, deep details, probably gonna be like a 20 minute video. And I just wanna show you guys all the functions, how it works, where the battery is, where the engine is, etc etc and then if you guys like this video a lot definitely leave a thumbs up comment below and i'll do another one just driving it like a simple pov drive so without further ado let's get into it so this is a 1993 mitsubishi bravo k-van it isn't the turbo and it isn't one with the aero roof either the homie ziggy in staten island just got one so i'm definitely gonna make a video of his and maybe compare the two see what he has see what i don't have his is also turbo too so it's kind of the complete different truck maybe that one i would say is fully loaded in comparison to this one but we're just going to go over this one first so as you see has a nice little fog lights i know some bumpers have this and some don't but i'm very happy that mine does and then i kind of went with a period correct little wrap right here it's kind of similar to how it comes in the factory but i want to throw my own little sauce on it came with the factory wheels and then i put 165 70 13s and it's made the ride 100 percent better you lose a little bit of top speed but when you put 13s or this one came with 13s but when you go from 12 to 13s or just get newer tires on a van like this that only weighs like 2,000 pounds it makes a world difference so on the way to the back here's how the tails look stock exhaust um came with the 1990s backup camera if you guys know what i'm talking about you can see the floor pretty nice rear wiper came with the factory rain guards okay now let's open the back hatch and this goes all the way up i'm about five eight and it's i would say it's at least like maybe six two and then back here you have two speakers i actually replaced mine if you guys want to see that video it makes a big difference and then you have these little bars here it does come with a light only on one side though have your little pockets here here's how this looks comes factory with this too and then if you pop these open, lift that over there, lift that over there. I put sound ending all back here, but here's where your battery is. Nice little small standard K-size battery. So I would say it's very spacious back here. I put eight tires with rims back here with no issue. And then I can sit down like this. My legs barely are hanging off. Now we could get into the middle seats and then I'll start folding them down and showing you that so both doors slide open and they have armrests like this you can put them up and then like every other K-Van from my understanding it has these little bars which is basically the seat belt so you would be back here and then if someone was hitting a crazy turn you just hold on to your little roller coaster bars and this is your safety. There is no other seatbelt, as you can see. No seatbelt fixed here. No seatbelt fixed here. Maybe you can buy them and it'd be like an aftermarket accessory or something, but it does not come with seatbelts. And then you have something here to hold on to, something here to hold on to. One of the things about the Bravo that really sold me was having power windows all over. It's very rare for a K-Van to have power windows in the rear and then they go completely down. So I'll put them up really quick. And then to go down, you would just press it down like any other window, and then it stops right here, you see? And that's the safety lock. And to pull that out, you just grab here. You hear that little click sound. And then you have the gangster all the way down windows. Same applies for this side. Pull this tab, you hear that click. And then the window's complete down. And let me get out the car, as you can see, because that's definitely one of my favorite features. Like, it just looks a million percent better. Like, look at this. It already draws a bunch of attention, but when I have the windows all the way down, you can see literally everything. Everyone is so big on getting like tinted windows so you can't see anything, but with the van all windows down, like look at this shot right here. You could see the back, the guy behind the driver when you have all the windows down. So that's something that I really was happy about 
fact that I could just have the power windows down, it's not crank. I'm so used to having like old cars that have crank windows. The fact that this has power on the round was one of my favorite features. So let's go to this side now. Some nice little accessories that the van has is light here as well on both sides. Let me turn this one off, not to drain the battery. Nice little lights. Delicas have the same lights there too. Now we're gonna get into the passenger side. You have a small little pocket here. Nice little pocket here, same thing. Power windows, speaker here. I changed that too if you guys wanna see that video. Pretty big glove box, have some mass sanitizer. It has a little like cup up here too where I have like my insurance and everything. But nice little size vent here of course. Uh, what else can we talk about? Has this light up here as well. No mirror on either of the visors. Have your standard e-brake. Mine is a five speed. We'll get all to that in a little later. I just want to talk about the interior. So it didn't come with this unit, obviously. This is a Jensen Car 710. It fits good. I just got to clean it up a little bit and then put the cover back on so it can fit flush. Before we get to the driver's side, I know you guys see me do the seat trick a million times, but before I do that, let me just show you guys how the seats go back here. So you pull that little tab up there and it goes down. You can pull it forward, it goes this way. And then to have it completely flat, like the Hondas, you just have to use your headrest. Take this, put that down, put this here, and this actually goes underneath, oh no, on the side. They have a little compartment on the side. This is where the jack is too, by the way. But you put your headrest right there. Nice little compartment. Now let's go to the other side. Same thing, you're gonna wanna pull this up, but let's take the headrest off first. It is on this side. Put it in your little pocket right here. Then we're gonna grab this, go down, and then boom. You have a lot more space. Here's how that looks. It isn't like the other vans though, where they fold completely flat. I know the Every does that, the uh, Hondas I do that as well. Not sure if the Sandbar does, but this is how far it goes on the Bravo. So let's put this back. You still have to pull this. Grab your headrest and put it just like back to normal. So you already know the second thing that I love about these seats. Let me find a good place to put my camera. So if you're new to my channel, this is the number one thing that really sold me on the Bravo. I love the way it looked. I love the way it had rims already. It had all the cool stuff, power windows, AC, all that good jazz. But the fact that the seats do this was what really just sold me. So I'm gonna show you what is my favorite thing about the Bravo, probably your favorite thing about the Bravo after you see this. So what you're gonna do is pull this. You're gonna turn the seat that way, all right? Put this bar down. And then if you want to do it in completion, you're also going to take this headrest out. You're going to turn it this way. And that's how it's in completion. And then you're going to take this seat, you just lift it over. And then you're going to take this, I'm not sure the camera can even see, and put it down. So that is my, come on, like come on, do I even have to say anything? But this is literally my favorite thing about the Bravo. It's not even close. Let me show you on the passenger side. What we have to do is open the door. Remember, we gotta pull this, but you also have to do the driver's side first. If you wanna beat the system, what you have to do is pull this and pull the other one at the same exact time, and then the passenger one could do it first. But I don't really recommend that, but I did it once just so I could see what it was like. So we're gonna put this right here. Turn this a little, boom, perfect shot. So we pull this, not this, here. We're gonna grab it like that, just flip it over, it's nice and easy. Take this, well, we don't have to turn that one, that's like extra work. But we take this seat, pull it up like that, and then drop it. And there you have your bed. Whatever you wanna do back here is super cool. And I'm a little jealous that I didn't have the Super Air roof, but what I'm gonna do with this ceiling is that I'm just gonna put the Maybach stars all up here. I just gotta find the right place 
or maybe I do it myself, but I don't know if I could do it that great of a job, but I want to just have stars all back here. So when you're laying back here, you're going on my, my long road trip to California, I could just sit back, imagine. Windows open, look at this view right here. Like imagine I had the Grand Canyon or something here and not congested New York City. And then I just have the stars at night. I think it'd be super dope. So I'll show you right now the safety mechanism that they have where it won't let you put the seat back. So look, same thing we're gonna pull. It doesn't let you grab it. What you have to do is go to the passenger side. I don't know why they do that, but like I said, if you just have two people, one person pulling that side, one pulling that side, it'll work completely. Because basically it's just this little latch right here that's stopping you. But what you would do here, you see that little latch move, look. So you pull that and then you're able to push the seat forward and then you're back to go on your drive. I guess it kind of makes sense. I think I would probably get pulled over anyway. If I had my passenger facing that way, I feel like a cop would just find a reason to give me a ticket. But there you have it. Now we're gonna continue. Let's put these up. Put this up. Boom. Now let's get into the driver's seat. So we have the brake fluid right there, which is kind of standard on a lot of K vehicles. Let's step in here. So let's put these lights off. It does work when the doors are open. If the back hatch is open, that light will come on as well. But all the lights come on. That's my high beams. Everything works. This one has an original 48,000 kilometers too, so very low mileage. You only get one armrest, which when you're driving is cool because you're just like this, you know, you're chilling, you have your nice little hand here. But a lot of times you're gonna realize that the, when the passenger gets on the side, they hog this up. A lot of times I'm like, damn, like they're taking my whole thing. So you kind of have to share it. I wish there was two here. I wish there was a way where you, I guess you could just drill here and maybe put one, but it doesn't have two. It only has one, which is kind of annoying when you have a passenger because I'm telling you, they're not even on purpose though. They just put their hand here because you know, the seats are so t close together where they think that that's theirs when it really isn't. But all right, back to the cockpit. So mine actually has the two buttons that are missing. So this is the wiper button, which goes right here. It fell off on a New York City pothole. And then this is the lock and unlock for the hatch. So that goes there. Mine is just permanently unlocked, which I don't mind. I have to only unlock it with the uh, key, but you have your fog lights right here, which is kind of cool because you have independent fog lights. So you just see, just the fog lights are on right now. You don't even have to have the lights on. It's just like the little dimmers are on right here. And then this one, the one that I have to replace doesn't even work. And then if I put the lights on, it looks like that. So you get your nice little aggressive look. I love the way the fog lights look. It's very like rally-esque. Turn the lights off. Fog lights are still on. Press this button fog lights are off that's the way the lights look let me show you on the rear when you have the fog lights on you still have the rear lights that come on so as you can see the lights are on I'll put the hazards on so you can see this lights up as well So we're back in the driver's seat and the van does come with AC. There's your button right there. And then a cool feature, which you might not know if you buy a Bravo, if you're just watching this, but it has rear heat, which when I pressed it, I was like, what does that mean? There's no, there's no vents back here. There's nothing like, how could it have rear heat? It makes you really think like, what is going on? And what it is, it's actually right here. Like, I mean, you guys obviously can't feel it. Let me see if there's some way I can show you. Um, but there's heat coming from here. So I have my phone out, but right there, if you can hear it, that's the rear heat. So if you're sitting back here and it's a cold day, it'll just warm up the back of your foot, I guess. But it's actually very strong. Like it gets hot very quickly. Continuing with this side of the car. So to open the fuel tank, it's right here. It's very hidden right there. I actually have a Mitsubishi one too, which is a nice touch. That closes right up. 
your hazards, um, lights, you know, all standard things as far as this van goes. And let me just start it for you guys. Turn off the rear heat. Cool thing about the windows too is that this one is auto. Which is just another flex for a K-Van. Come on. They don't even give us vents sometimes. This one has auto windows. You gotta love that. And then it has a lock and normal, which I don't know. And then also, oh my god, I'm forgetting all the features. Look at this. Look. Power locks too. Like, come on. I don't think there's any more features I would wish I had right now. Like I said, would it be fire to have two roofs up here? Yes. But to make myself feel better, I'm just gonna put a bunch of Maybach stars. So now let's look at the engine bay. The best way to do it is to pull this forward so you get some extra clearance. You pop that back, one, boom. That clip right there, that clip right there. And then you're gonna push it, well, pull it from here, push it back like this. Three G eight three six hundred and fifty seven CC. Turn on the AC. Everything works, no complaints. Go to the other side. And same thing goes for this. You want to pull this up to so get max clearance. One, two, three. First clip, second clip. So here we have the hot side. This one is actually fuel injected as you can see. Here's your oil cap, timing belt cover. I wanna clean this all up and paint it at, at some point. This is all gonna be clean and like show car material at some point. We have some fuses on this side. So this one also has power steering too, which I forgot to mention, which is a very big deal on the mid-engine cars because if you have an Acti or Sandbar, all your weight's in the back. So if you don't have power steering, it's not that big of a deal. But having it here, having power steering, makes an enormous difference. You have your washer fluid here. I actually need to add some. You have some coolant right there. Typical engine. Um, something else I love about this car is that it's five valve per cylinder. I'm not sure if that also implies for the turbo models too, but it redlines at 10,000 RPM and it isn't like a joke. Like I'm not going to do it too much because I don't want to explode my engine, but hear this right now. Hear this note. This is another thing that I love about the van. This note, that's only 6,000. Like that's only 6,000, but I'm going to do one to redline. You guys ready? Definitely the thumbs up right now. I'm about to put my car through 10,000 rotations per minute. You ready? Come on. Let me know what K-Van sounds like that. I'm gonna do it one more time so you guys can hear it from back here because it doesn't even have an exhaust or nothing. And like, I wanna put an exhaust, but it sounds so good already. all back we're gonna take this down this is all sound deadening and stuff i put this because the seat kind of gets hot and i'm someone who wants to drive this all over the united states so I have this here this is sound deadening and this for my heat and then i have the same thing all down here uh, mine is pretty covered i don't it doesn't get hot at all first clip second clip one two Three. And then another feature for the driver's seat, it actually does slide. So if you see right here, you just push that to the side and then the seats do move forward and back. I have mine all the way back too. Another feature, there's just so many. If you go down here, where is it? Oh, right here. It has telescopic steering in a way. Let me put this down so you can see it better. So it's right here. I can have it all the way down there. 
or I can have it all the way up there. I have it like in the middle, somewhere like that. Same goes for this seat too. You pull that and you can go all the way forward or all the way back. Put our seat back and then to put your seat back, you just do this and it will go all the way back like that. But I think that's pretty much it. You know, your wipers are standard. Not much going there. One thing that does blow is that because this button is broken, I don't have access to my rear wiper because I can't like kind of toggle it from on to off. So I definitely need to buy this. I need to find this on Yahoo Auctions and buy it. Um, I guess all four, because if I put it back, I try putting it back, it just pops out at the slightest um, bump again. But that's pretty much it. Give it a thumbs up. I will do another video of this driving and I'll do it on like a long drive. That way you guys can get like a full experience. I won't just drive locally. Maybe I'll do like an hour away drive. So you guys can see it on high speeds, high RPMs. This thing is a cloud to drive. I really love the way it feels, but thanks for watching. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.